Hi, in this video, I want to show that we can send out an MS Team chat message to a group when the opportunity goes to closed one. I have set up an MS Teams chat group, as you can see here, and it's called My Demo Sales Team. So I want to send out a message in this uh, Teams chat when a new opportunity goes into closed one. Now, for that, I have created a flow. In the flow, it's record triggered. So it would mean that when the opportunity goes to closed one, it actually will now call this, um, call these actions. On that, I have also created added a collaboration butler action. So let's configure it together. I select action. I go for collaboration butler, uh, MS Teams chat message. I call this <coughs> chat. Oh, closed one victory. Okay, an HTML message I will show you in a second, but I've created here a uh, text template opportunity text one. So I'm just going to add this one, the name of the chat. So let's copy the name of the chat that I have over here. So copy this. And then that would be all the configuration. Now, uh, this will run with the user that will uh, actually uh, uh, that will actually have uh, set the opportunity to closed one. So if that's the user that you want to uh, send it out with, or if it's a generic user, then you can still use the override user. If you, for instance, say, well, we have an admin that always has to send it out or whatever, then you can just use an override user. In this case, I want the actual user that uh, moved the status to close one to send out the message. <laughs> so that's it, that's the configuration. Um, and then I'm gonna cancel that because I already had one, as you can see here. And let's take a look at this uh, text template. The text template is a normal flow text template where I said great news, uh, new win for the team. And then I, I used some um, I used some variables uh, that we can use here. So from the records, I'm going to take the, the amount and I'm also going to take the account name that I want to send out in the chat. So that's it. That's my entire uh, process over here. Let's save it. Activate it and let's test. I'm going to move this into states closed one. Save. Okay. Now this should normally run my, uh, my flow. And if we cancel here, we might have to wait a second before. Oh, it's already there. Sorry. <laughs> so it's already here. This is the one that we now I uh, just sent out great news. Uh, the account is Cloud Crossing BVBA. So that's indeed the account that we had over here. The amount is 21,000. That's indeed the amount that we have over here. So that's how easy it is now to send MS Team chat messages from Salesforce directly into MS Teams chat.